Hello fellow chart watchers. Today I'm going to show you how you can add support resistance zones to any sharp chart. First, I want to show you one way to find and confirm the location of a support resistance zone by using the volume by price overlay. This overlay creates a horizontal histogram on the left side of the chart that shows you the prices where volume is concentrated for that chart. If you see a long bar sticking out further to the right than the other bars, that's a good indication that lots of buying and selling has occurred in that price range, and therefore it probably contains a good support resistance level. For instance, on this weekly chart of the Dow, we see that there has been lots of volume when the index was between 8,000 and 8,500, and again when it was around 10,000. Let's add some annotations to the chart so we can see those levels more clearly. As usual, in order to add annotations to a sharp chart, you first need to load the chart into Chart Notes, our annotation tool. You can use either the Flash or the Java version, whichever works best on your computer. So here's our chart inside Chart Notes. I'm going to start by showing you the Automatic Support Resistance tool first. It's the red and green line over here on the toolbar. The Automatic Support Resistance tool creates a line on your chart that is colored green whenever prices are above it and red whenever prices fall below it. The green represents support, and the red represents resistance. As you move the line up or down, the colors dynamically change based on the line's location. Let's drop this line right at the 8000 level. The line shows us that the index has bounced there on a couple of occasions, so it looks like a pretty important support level. Similarly, the 10,000 level also looks pretty significant. So that chart looks pretty good. But what if we wanted to show support resistance as a band of color instead of a line? You can use the rectangle tool to create those bands, but you need to remember one thing. You need to hold down the control key when dragging out the rectangle. Holding down the control key causes the rectangle to be filled with color when it is created, making it perfect for indicating where support resistance zones are located. So there you go. By using ChartNote's automatic support resistance tool and the filled rectangle tool, you can create charts that are even more powerful. Charts that can help you make better investing decisions. Thanks for watching.